wandering in that sort of attitude. Have you all heard of kippers? Yes, kids in parents' pockets eroding retirement savings. <laughs> or what is it, galahs, grown adults living at home. Um, Still. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. So, those of you, I mean, there's a lot of Green Island boys there. Perhaps in the country it's different. Perhaps in the country the children are dying to get out the door. But certainly in the big smoke, it's not true. So just in case this is a, a likely peril to you, here's some advice from the Ballpoint Penguins. Since they were born, you've always sworn that you would do your best. But at 22, it's occurred to you, it's time they left the nest. If they won't fly and say goodbye, you'll fail the final test. So we've got some clues to help you through upon this vital quest. They've grown up fast compared to us, there really is no doubt. So why is it the little dears don't look like moving out? Twenty-first parties gave them the keys, shed a tear with your spouse. Sad to report, they clearly thought you'd, you'd given, given them the house. When you moved out, you shared a place with several of your mates. Lived hand to mouth, and what you cooked, you tended to cremate. But our kids aspire to something higher, they've lost the sharing gene. But the real big scare is no one there to cook and iron and clean. Since they were born, you've always sworn that you would do your best. But at 24, through ceaseless war, they've well outgrown the nest. If they won't fly and say goodbye, you'll fail the final test. Make sure they know they're free to go, it isn't house arrest. If you let them bonk at home, then it is a really little wonder. No hypocrisy here, but it's pretty clear it's a serious tactical blunder. A couple of years is plenty of time to let them get the knack. Then remove the doors, cameras, install and get your future back. If they won't leave home, it could be just a lack of confidence. The natural fear of the pioneer in a brand new residence. It's up to you to help them through this existential dread. Stop playing host, take that overseas post, and you leave home instead. Since they were born, you've always sworn that you would do your best. But at 33, well, bugger me, it's time they left the nest. If they won't fly and say goodbye, you'll fail the final test. It's not just you, your bank balance too is getting quite depressed. If all else fails to move your kids, this contract retroact. No need for all this stress, just impress this vital fact. All the time they stay past 24, there's no need to condemn. Past 65, that's just how long you'll move back in with them. Since they were born, you've always sworn that you would do your best. But at 37, good God in heaven, it's time they left the nest. If they won't fly and say goodbye, you'll fail the final test. If they won't leave home, it'll be Stockholm Syndrome or arrest. If they won't leave home, it'll be Stockholm Syndrome or arrest.